Hi, I'm Mercedes from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop layer masks to create an interesting effect with an instant film style frame. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my last video, I showed you how to make this frame from scratch. If you're interested in watching how that was done, I'll go ahead and leave you a link down in the description and up here in the corner. Otherwise, I have a link to download this particular PSD file. Uh, so you can get to work on this right away. The tutorial that we did last week was for a mood board. So we were actually clipping images inside of these frames. So the difference between that one and this one is that I'm going to go ahead and open this first. This is frame two, the second one. So right here you have this click to place image. We're not actually going to be placing images inside of here. I'm going to leave this intact the way it is because you might want to use it to create a mood board later on, but we're not going to be using this as a smart object or doing any of that. We're just using layer masks today to create uh, the look that we're going for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come over here to our first image and I'll go ahead and leave links to the two images that we're going to use here today in the description as well. So I'm going to just unlock this by clicking on that little lock icon right there. Make sure that the layer is selected. So what I'm going to do is remove the background and the fastest way I know to do that is going to be right here in properties. If you're inside Photoshop 2020, this quick action is available there. Um, you can also come here to select, select subject, select focus area, um, or you can, even if you're in an older version, you can come here and use the quick selection tool and then just grab, you know, all of this and then use refine edges um, to get this image. But for us, we're just going to do this fast and we're going to come here to quick actions. That's going to be right here in this little properties icon. If you don't see that there, you can come here to window properties right there and that'll bring it up for you. So inside of quick actions for this particular layer, this is going to change for whatever you have selected. But because I'm working with an image, my quick actions are remove background and select subject. For us, we're going to go ahead and remove the background. And that's just going to remove the background from the image. I'm going to add a layer to the back and add some black color just because I want to see what's going on here. Okay, so there is some stuff around her hair I want to get rid of. It's not too important because we're using a lighter color, but if you were using a darker color, you just come here and double click on the layer mask itself that's going to bring up this window right here and we can come here to refine edge tool i'm going to change my radius to about two pixels and i'm going to feather it out just a little bit and remove it as much as i can there i'm just going to click ok and just right click and apply layer mask now there's still some haloing around the image, so I'm going to come up here to uh, layer matting and I'm going to remove the white matting from this just to get rid of that halo that we had there. And once I have this, I'm going to press the letter V to select that layer and I'm going to drag this over to our instant frame and then just drop it there. Now this is a really big image compared to the frame, so I'm just going to bring down the size. and I'm going to put her right around there. So the idea is that she's going to look like she's kind of coming out of this frame. So we want her to be a little bit bigger than the frame itself. We're going to come back over here, unlock this layer, and we're going to do the same thing here. The reason I'm doing two of them is just to reinforce the idea of how the layer mask is used. I'm going to come back over here and remove the background here as well. I'm going to right click, apply layer mask, and I'll probably do the same thing with this one where I'm removing the white around the edges, but it looks to me like it's a pretty good mask. Okay, so I'm going to grab this layer and drop this over here as well. Of course, it's going to be much bigger than we need it. So I'm going to bring that image down as well, and that's just covering the entire frame, so we need to bring that down more. So this is okay right here. So right around there is pretty good for this one. So this first one, we have frame two right here. So we're gonna drop this right on top of this layer right here, the click to place image layer. 
I'm going to drop that there. I'm going to open a frame one and I'm dropping this layer right above that one. So we have uh, both of these there. And now what I'm going to do with uh, the first one is I'm going to hold the command button on my keyboard. You can see that little square that just came up. That is going to help me make a selection. So I'm just going to click. And if you're on a PC, it's going to be control, but um, control or command to do that. And that just made a selection of the background here. Now I'm coming to this layer, the, the image layer, and I'm going to just press this add layer mask button right there. So you can see that it looks like it's inside of this square. Now it's not clipped into this. We just applied a layer mask that is the exact same dimensions as this square right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this layer mask. I'm going to press the letter B on my keyboard to bring up my brush tool. And I'm just using a hard round brush for this, but I need to make sure that I am on the layer mask and not on the layer itself. I have my foreground background colors showing and I'm going to bring the size of my brush up to about 125 and then I'm just going to reveal that top section of this layer and we've got our first image done. Okay and for the next one it's the exact same thing. I'm going to choose the layer right beneath it I'm going to press command on my keyboard, control on a PC, and when I see that little square, I'm just going to click. Now I'm coming back up to this top layer and add a layer mask. So I'm just going to just choose layer mask right here, add layer mask. To apply a layer mask that is exactly the dimensions of this layer below it. Now I'm going to come here to the layer mask and do the same thing that I did with this one. Letter B on the keyboard and make sure that you're on white. White is going to reveal and the black is going to hide so we need to make sure that it's on white and then I'm just going to remove that layer mask from this top section. I'll change the color of the background so this is a little bit more visible and then we can do other things to the background. Go ahead and add a gradient to this as well just to give the background a little bit of interest. And just as a reminder, if you want to make this instant film frame on your own, I'll go ahead and leave a link here to last week's video where we made this frame from scratch so you can follow that and then come back to this video and follow this one. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.